Welcome back to Obsession Engineering uh, and the second part of our How to Train a Superbike Rider. Uh, and today we're not riding around on motorbikes having fun. Uh, today we are in the gym and we are going to get beasted. Uh, but this isn't any old gym. Uh, we're here with a trainer who is very specifically looking at how to make Franco better on race weekends. So let's find a man who's in charge and he can show you what we're going to do. So uh, good morning, we're here at AUK Gym in Grantham. And we're here today to mimic uh, one of the days in a, a life of a British Superbike rider on track. So we've got three sessions booked today for actual physicals with uh, Dave and Franco. And when Matt gets here, he's going to join in with us. Uh, today we're actually going to mimic uh, a Saturday at a race weekend uh, because that's actually the busiest day. So how are we going to do that? Uh, so we start off uh, mimicking free practice three. So we've got a 30 second body blast with both of you. Uh, Matt's going to catch up with that when he gets in after lunch. Uh, then move on uh, just as a, a bit of recovery. I've got a cryotherapy booked with Franco. Uh, so that's just to target the areas where he's had a couple of injuries, a couple of big crashes last year. So just making sure that we allow him that recovery to take place throughout the day so that we can beast him harder in the afternoon. Uh, we then hand over to Elliot. Yeah. He's got his session. Nice little 45 minute boxing session. We're going to split it up. 12 rounds, three minutes a piece. We're going to get absolutely beasted. We're going to be working on a little bit of technique, a little bit of footwork, a little bit of mental aptitude, but generally it's going to be a, bit, a little bit of a blitz. So we're going to take you through that and then back to gym for the next session. Perfect. So we've got two hours for recovery, so get some food on board, get the fluids on board. And that's the time that mimics in between that, that qualifying session and going into race one on a Saturday afternoon. And in that, we've got another circuit, and then we've got the fitness testing. And the most important thing, we've got the rowing challenge, so we can actually rack and stack the leaderboard. So I've just got changed, and I'll give you a little bit of a background as to what we've been doing the rest of the week. Because Franco's been down with us uh, for a week now, and in that time, we've been uh, flat tracking at Boast Desert Champions Flat Track School. Uh, Franco's actually been up a couple of times doing that. Uh, we've been out on push bikes. Franco's done an extra bit of cycling to me while I've been at work. Uh, we've been to the gym and done a couple of my normal um, weight sessions. I don't lift a lot of weight, uh, but we do a reasonable routine a couple of times a week. Uh, and we've done one of Franco's normal training sessions, as well as a day trials riding. So we're not box fresh. We've not had a recovery day. Uh, so for me, this is actually quite like a BSB weekend, because he's going to go into this day to day, having already done some exercise from, in effect, what would have been the Friday. I might regret having not had a recovery day though, because I think today's gonna to be hard work, but I'm quite looking forward to it. And I have wondered if I get anywhere near him in any of these fitness tests, he's getting told off hard. Well, we'll start off with a little uh, egg timer circuit as we call. So one person will be on the rower. So 250 meters, working at 500, uh, 500 meters in two minutes. So that gives you, should be a minute on the rower, okay? In that time, the other two participants are working on some fitness exercises. They'll start off on the sled, so they'll go there and back, just pushing as they go, so steady pace. They'll then move on to the power bag, 10 repetitions of the shoulder press, and then on to the kettlebell, where we'll do 10 reps with the hip thrust, just maintaining, looking after our backs, nice neutral back position, a couple of swings to get started, then firing through. That's station number two. And the third person will be working on the ropes with 20 rope slams, making sure we get the power. Look at that nice slap as it hits the floor. Well, they rotate, rotate through onto Romanian twists. So 20 twists each side. And last but not least, onto the classic push ups. We've even got the bars in for Franco to look after his wrists. So 10 reps, body nice and taut down to 90 degrees in the arms and back up. That is it for that circuit. We're gonna go for eight repetitions of this round. So that gives us 40 minutes in total. And that includes the, whatever change you've got left, so about a minute and a half rest in between each set. Let's go. All right, that's two circuits down. I'm warmed up, that's for sure. Woo! Uh, right, halfway through, now we get a one and a half minute break. Smashing this, that Franco's not got no clue how easy he's getting it. Have a little bit out of breath still. 
Uh, that's the end of what we call free practice three. Our uh, we'll start off of the day, uh, I'll admit. I've broken a sweat, Franco. You look like you've got a bit of a bead on. I'm all right. <laughs> just a warm up for you, innit? Yeah. No, it was hard to be fair. Yeah, I thought we might have had last one in the end there. No, it was good. It's nice to see you sweating instead of lifting weights, to be honest. It's a proper session, this is. <laughs> I don't normally break a sweat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's been good. We've had a bit of training before we come here. And I think we can both say it's been a bit of a shock to the system this morning. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Yeah, the scary thing is, we're just getting into it as well. Yeah. We've got all day this, but. It's great when you're all together, everyone's doing the same thing as well, going through it. You know, I wouldn't be as happy to do it if you were both watching me. <laughs> you're both getting involved, so yeah, it's good. If only Matt were here to be beasted. Well, Matt likes to cut corners. We like to... Do the job proper. Well, marginal gains, Exactly, isn't it? exactly. <laughs> sort of after. So cryotherapy can be used for pain management, injury, but also it increases your metabolism and it increases mitochondrial function. But it's very good for recovery and also, we were just discussing before, prior to working out as well, if you, if you space it out between 45 minutes to an hour, you will get peak performance. You, you, you're going to get a better workout and your recovery is going to be better. But you can also use it as well as part of a recovery process. I mean, it all sounds incredibly technical. Yeah. Um, and obviously we've seen people jumping in ice baths and that ice sort of baths, thing. And it's, yeah. Presumably it's the same science behind it, the same ideas behind it, but this is a lot more focused on individual sort of muscle areas and yeah. individual joints and whatever. Yeah, so we can do all over body with this. We can, we can do it all over, but this is like specifically we're going to target on problematic areas. So one, two, three... That blue light is saying that's got to be the same temperature where you need to move off. Uh, right, you've had your little blast with the cryo. How does it feel? Yeah, it was definitely very different. Not had anything like that before. Um, just saying that I've, I've had ice baths and, and stuff like that before. But yeah, really different. Um, quite sore on the skin. A little bit, not too much. Um, but then once you've done it, it's sort of like a, a new boost of energy. Um, like he was just saying there, you sort of feel rejuvenated again to go again so yeah really good let me see how you go now i mean you must have enjoyed it a little bit because you had a nip on well i'm sure you will in a minute it's pretty cold so. <laughs> <laughs> it's an interesting Ooh. feeling isn't it oh it is yeah do you know what i mean that sort of takes your breath away a little bit say what nipple on did i have then <laughs> <laughs> I, I have enjoyed it <laughs> is that way of pleasure and pain <laughs> yeah that you can, actually, you can actually feel your muscles sort of relaxing as you do it. Yeah. And all of a sudden you can stand up a little bit taller. It's, 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 it's bizarrely quick how, yeah. how effective it is. Honestly, that, it's like, having a, it's like having a slightly bizarre massage, but literally within seconds you can actually feel the muscles sort of relaxing and you can stand up straighter. Because with me I tend to hunch a little bit and my shoulder's bad. And that, literally within... What a couple of minutes! I could feel me, me back loosening off and me shoulder loosening off. That is bizarre how uh, how effective that is. So uh, yeah, I, I'm not never been a fan of jumping in buckets of ice. Uh, whereas that is uh, a lot more tolerable. Uh, this is a bit ominous. Uh, this is boxing pad work uh, sort of stuff. I've never really done uh, boxing pad work stuff. Um, I'm aware it's incredibly hard work, so I'm sure it'll be excellent training. I'm just hoping at some point I can slip and just catch that smug face at some point. Matt, I can't help noticing you're still in your civvies. You, uh, you're not boxing? Uh, I'm saving myself. I mean, this is the mental warm up. Right. The mental phase, and then later on, I'll get into the getting dressed, warming up, building up, psyching up, prepping. I, I can smell something in the air, Franco. It smells like BS. Yeah, yeah. yeah I thought you were going to say that. I could hear him talking, so... Uh, right, Elliot is getting prepped up. So, Elliot, this is, this is qualifying, isn't it? This is qualifying. This is the qualifying round. We're going to be doing 12 rounds of boxing, three minutes apiece. By the end of it, you both should be obliterated. Lovely. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sounds like fun, won't it? No, trust me. 45 minutes, we'll go by like that. It'll be nice and fun. We'll keep you moving. A lot of cardio, a lot of sort of rotation, 
So using sort of a lot of like the hip muscle, engaging the glutes, engaging the core, like a lot of things that you're going to be using while you're riding bikes. So yeah, we'll look forward to it and see how we go at the end. Four now, four straight. Frank's got a bit more power than me, I think. <laughs> <laughs> that's it again, two more, two more. Nice, that's all. That's it. Right, so a bit of for the second round. So it, two left and a right. Good. 20 seconds on, 20 seconds that's off. Good. I've only done one round and I can that's tell you I am four. feeling it already. Good. It's the last 30 seconds. I'm still not sure who's going to win. Dave or the bag. Seconds. My money's on the bag. Halfway through, Dave, how are you feeling? Um, I've had to, uh, I've, I've really attacked it, my wrist were beginning to ache a little bit, so, um, uh, yeah, so we're re-taping a little bit tighter. It's a good purely, excuse, it's, Purely it's just for getting okay, me a bit Dave, of time off. Well, I think that's a good excuse. I've got no excuses so yeah. far, so I'm clearly fresher. <laughs> 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 Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, done. As we're running today, a little bit like a sort of Saturday at a VSB weekend, we're leaving the gaps in that you'd have between the sessions as well, so that um, we have to stretch off. We've had sat out there and done some stretching and bits after that session like we would do uh, after qualifying and then we've actually had a little bit of a debrief sort of we've basically just chatted through what happens on a BSB weekend between sessions and how what the rider needs to do and what we need to do and so Jim understands the dynamic of what's going on uh, and then obviously we made sure we have something to eat and something to drink get the levels back up and basically get prepared for the next session um, and I have a drinks bottle from TT uh, one of my many TT drinks bottles and over here I have another one looks the same but this one's got sports mix in it I've been on water so far today because the last bit of the day uh, we have a fitness test and I've done a lot of work today <laughs> and I want to do fairly well in the fitness test so it's not cheating it's trying to do my best hopefully old fresh legs Bainbridge down here is just warming up um, getting those muscles working for the first time today. So I'm not saying he's got an advantage, definitely not. He has. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, Jim's just nearly fallen over Matt because he's doing his turtle impression. Um, right, Jim, talk us through what we're doing at the end of the day to really finish us off. Right, so we're doing a bit of fitness testing. The reason we're doing it at the end is to mimic that it's going into race two or race three at the end of uh, a busy superbike weekend where hopefully Frank will have nothing left because he's put it all out on the track. So uh, we're going to start off with a, a basic ramp test. So that'll start off 10 minutes at level eight. The rule is you must stay over 30k an hour. Okay, so it's quite high cadence to begin with. Uh, at the end of 10 minutes, we then start the actual real test. The, the warm-up's finished. Every minute, we add a level. And it's to go to your maximum. Okay, the second you drop to 29.9, .9, that's it, test over. So uh, we'll start with that, and then we'll explain the other exercises as we get to it. Right, it's getting serious, Matt. Matt's 38 seconds into his warm-up. How are you feeling, Matt? Good, good. I'll absolutely piss it if it stays like this. Unfortunately, there's another at least 10 minutes. levels to go, unfortunately. <laughs> feeling confident with your fresh legs? Uh, as I just said, I'm confident of a rostrum. That's about it at the moment. <laughs> it's a good job Jim's not doing it as well. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very good. For one of us, anyway. Two, one. Right, Matt's into his first proper stage. Uh, I'm going to put it out there. There's sweat dripping off you already, Matt, and you've only just finished the warm-up section. <laughs> I haven't had all day to warm up like you two, <laughs> prepping for this. You haven't had all day to get tired either. <laughs> it, it's good to see the competitive element is still uh, rife in this team. It, getting towards 15 minutes, we're basically hovering at a 200 watt average, which is a decent workout, to be fair, on a bike. And it's, uh, it's dripping off mad. Trust me, it's not that warm in here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on your watch, you're over 184 BPM average as well. This is a proper effort, this is. And just think, this is only the start of this fitness testing. <laughs> if he's having to stand up, that's it. We're getting really serious now. 
Come on, Matt. Push that bar. Come on, fuck it. Come on push, push. Come on, Matt. No, he's done. He's done. That was a bloody good effort, that was. Yeah. You've made that look really hard work. <laughs> right, that's your warm-up done. Are we into yeah. the test next? Yeah, good luck sitting on that seat after me. <laughs> <laughs> where, where Matt was averaging like 40, 40 kilometres an hour, uh, I'm trying to average 31. Uh, when I was rearranging my seat, I will admit I did 29.9. But the boys <laughs> want to see me suffer. So apparently I've still got to see it all the way through. But yes, this first bit's actually quite hard work. Just doing the cadence. But we'll be all right. I've only got to do another about 20 minutes when we get into the levels. But morally, I've already won because I'm not sweating yet. It's easy to do the pedaling when you get a bit of load on just because the cadence is a bit more normal. I am beginning to warm up now. I'll give him that. What did Matt get? Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. 19 is good. Keep going. You've got it in here. Oh, yeah. yeah, I've got it. Big deep breaths. Dig in. Dig in. That's it. Eight seconds gone. Go on. Keep going. Keep, Keep going. going. You're well. You've got this. Yeah, I've got this. Easy. 21.30. That's what good we're work. Come on. <laughs> Impressive. Good work. I've warmed up. When's the exercise start? <laughs> right. I'm just about regaining my breath. That was hard work. That was me on my limit. Uh, so yeah, that was tough. But I was pleased with what I actually achieved, so it's always good. I feel good. That's type two fun. You don't enjoy it when you're doing it, but you enjoy it when you're beating Matt. Right, the superstar's up next. Franco Vaughan. Can he beat, most importantly, Team Boss, then me, and then really it's all about can he impress Jim? And of course beat his time from last time. There's a lot on the table, Franco. It's just beginning to get that, to that nice cadence in it where you can actually pedal normally. I'm past that a bit now. Oh, a are bit you actually harder. having to work? Yeah, a little bit, but I'm focusing, I'm good. And you're not sweating anywhere near as much as Matt. No, Matt was sweating a lot. But yeah, we're good at the minute. Another 10 minutes and I'll, I'll probably stop. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we might get competitive in this team, but it's because we actually want to win. And so actually, you know, there comes a point where we need to be encouraged. So come on, Franco, dig in more. You can have a bit more of this. Come on, Jim Reckons, you can do 22. You can do 22. See, you're winning. Come on, 30 seconds. Solid effort there. Solid effort. How are you feeling? I'm all right. <laughs> and now breathe. <laughs> Jim, I'm impressed with that. They're all good scores. Matt started off really strongly. You, Dave, really impressed. It stepped it up another level. So Franco Bourne, the main man. That's it. He's look, I think you need to look at him now. That's yeah. the uh, that's the true reflection on how hard he's worked on that session. But I've beaten Matt, so that's the important thing. <laughs> that's him. Beat, beat the boss. I'll do. Well, we're not even done yet either. To be fair, no. but we've not. got we've got two more things to go yet. Yeah, be right. <laughs> we'll be good. Raw machine should be good. We've done a lot of work, so I think Matt's going to be a bit more fresh on that. But you know, with his dodgy shoulder and all that. Yeah, and his book of excuses holding him back. Yeah, we've all got that, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I'll pull a few out as well. <laughs> good yeah. effort there, Tom. On. Now we've all warmed up. Oh. Um, it's time to move on to uh, a bit more sort of strength. So we're. Uh, doing some bar hangs, uh, but we have to do them outside, so that's adding an element of um, cold to it, frankly. Um, yeah, so we're going to do some bar hangs and then some wide grip, uh, like external grip pull ups, and then some close grip chin ups uh, to see who can do the best on that. Uh, with my shoulder, it won't be me, but if I beat Matt, you know, that'll do me. Um, and then we've got the road test at the end. Kind of enjoying it, really. And obviously Matt's looking really good at the moment because he's still got his feet on the floor. Talk amongst yourselves for a minute while Matt dangles.
It's a good job it's dark, Matt, so we can't see the concentration face that's going into dangling. I'm smiling. Are, are you? Because it, it, looks, it looks like a different kind of smile. Stand back, sir. Uh, he's passed a minute. The grip is still solid. Yeah. Oh, there's some shuffling going on now. It must be... A, there we go. Good effort, Matt. Good effort. It's very, very tempting to just put my toes on the floor. I mean, I'd argue that I have to do more work because I'm having to use a little bit of leg and core as well to keep my feet off the floor, but... I don't want to make Matt feel bad. If I distract myself by talking nonsense to you boys yeah. about the book I'm going to write about uh, races excuses, then it you know takes the concentration away from the fact that my shoulders are aching and my hands ache. Oh, that's 2.30. Oh. 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 That hurts. Yeah. That is a, that is a... Right, let's see how long he can dangle for. Are we allowed to poke him with things while he's doing this? What was Matt? 136? Ah, no, oh, 128 it's Franco. Well, you've got to give the boss something. Yeah. It, well, all that muscle's heavy, isn't it, Franco? Yeah. That, to be honest, I got 30 seconds in, I thought. That's going to be hard work. <laughs> Back in the doorway. So for this one, it is wide grip chin-ups, or pull-ups, and then straight into chin-ups. So how many can he do of each? On the count, Matt, go! One. Two, having just done the uh, hanging thing, this is going to be especially hard work. Three. Four. Five. That's actually pretty good going, Matt, that is. Come on. Five and a half. Chin-ups. Straight into the chin-ups, Matt. Straight into the chin-ups. Go. Half. No, nope. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I'm built for speed, not strength. <laughs> Ready? One. Oh, yeah, that was, uh, that was tough. You're looking confident after me and Matt's performance there. Yeah, I can't lose on another thing really. Like, I got 10 before, so I can do it. Come on, 13, yes. Oh, good effort. What did you get on the second one? 17. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's it, we are nearly at the end. The only thing remaining is what I consider the gym's torture device, the rowing machine. Uh, and so on this it's going to be 30 second interval, so 30 seconds pulling as hard as you can and then stop for 30 seconds and I think we're meant to do six of them and see basically how far you get. Um, the reason I'm not terribly confident about this is because uh, me and Franco did this in the gym um, the other day and he beat me at it. So really, just I'm just, I'm really pushing for beating Matt because that's the most important thing here, obviously. I have to put a special mention in here. Uh, Matt has been training at home hard purely for this <laughs> because this is basically the most important fitness test that we're doing today. So, um, <laughs> Yeah, he's, there's been a lot of excuses, uh, there's been a lot of private training, so if he's last again, it's going to be embarrassing <laughs> for him. Oh, what we got, what we got, what we got? Will the overrun take it? Will it? No! Five metres short, Matt. Oh, Matt. This is third one in. And you are currently losing so far at the minute, Matt. He has got a good pace going. Right. <laughs> Tell you what, that was hard work. I'm actually 1,022 metres. Matt managed 995. So, <laughs> I'm just saying, we're halfway there. Right, it's all down to the boy. 
I'm going to sit down and have a mild coronary. Right, Franco's up. He's going for it. I give him one thing, he is digging in, the boy is. Ten seconds to go. Nearly there. Come on, smash it. Go on. Pull. Uh, right, how are you feeling? Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he might say that. Uh, fair play to me, he's dug in for that one. That's a good effort. <laughs> was that a was that a thoroughly hearty? Well done. Yeah, congratulations. He's, he's done well there, hasn't he? Passable. Passable. Yeah. Yeah. You can have a mince pie now. One thousand and fifty-four. All right, so that is the end of a uh, bizarrely fun and I'm going to say successful day down at a UK gym in Grantham. Uh, Franco has improved in every area since he was last here a few weeks ago, apart from his little dangle thing, but we'll not mention that. He gets nervous if we talk about his dangle. Um, but basically, his strength, his fitness, everything is improving. Um, and that's a great thing because as a team, we're trying to tick boxes in everything we do. So we're going to have a better bike. We're going to be better drilled. Franco's going to be fitter. We are on for pushing at BSB. Uh, I'd like to say a big thank you for uh, Jim. Um, Jim at the gym. Um, this place is mega. I've been to loads of gyms. This place is spot on. It's cool. It's got every piece of kit you need. If you're in the Grantham area, come here. Use this as your gym. This is the best place to come. But anyway, enough of the plugs. Thank you for watching. Join us again next time when we'll be doing some more prep for BSB. Thanks for watching. Uh, Franco's dangle smaller than mine.